I'm leaving Veliko Novo to Sofia. And I'm going to share with you what to know about traveling around Bulgaria. Yeah, so traveling around Bulgaria can be very cheap. But if you don't know, it can be expensive for you as well. The best way to travel around Bulgaria is by train. And the trains are even more cheaper than that of Romania that I found very cool as well. The trains has advantage and also disadvantages. Why? Because the trains can be very slow and sometimes also you can have some delay. But it is less expensive and more comfortable. Unlike the bus that is more expensive, it's more faster. Obviously, you will arrive at your destination more earlier than with the train. But it's more inconvenient. So. With the train, there is also more advantages. You can also see a lot of countryside, a lot of mountains and villages. So this is why I like it. And also, don't hesitate to ask the controllers or ask anybody around you frequently because most of the train, uh, the information and everything are uh, written here in Bulgarian language. So it is difficult as a foreigner to understand the local language, except you have some understanding uh, with the language. So uh, for me, I find it difficult because this is my first time in the Eastern Europe and I knew nothing in Bulgaria. So it's very difficult. So don't hesitate to keep on asking. If not, you might even miss your stop so this is what i can say and again you have to be vigilant because it's like almost every stop there are some guys a little bit like strange they come to inside the train they're kind of looking around looking for something to steal you know so you have to be careful you have to be careful and also in the train stations you have to be careful uh, this is what i can say uh, unlike like almost everywhere but this is what i see here also uh, what you need to know about traveling around uh, Bulgaria. So it's a very cool place, cool, cool country. I, throughout my journey, I have an awesome time here, yeah, awesome people, great. Uh, what is this? Uh, I just missed something. Like a refinery. I saw a refinery there. So I had a great time here with my Bulgarian people. Thank you all. It was awesome. And also, concerning the train station, to buy tickets and all that, there is no exchange. If you are waiting to come to the train station or around the train station to change your money to the local money, you might be disappointed because right there in Sofia and also other train stations, other big train stations that I, I have traveled through, there is no exchange in the train station or around the place. You have to walk at least about five minutes before you can find an exchange center. So you have to be careful because uh, most of these train stations also, they don't take the credit card. You cannot pay with your card. Maybe it's only one DEX or two that is using the credit card. So if you arrive in the last minute to quickly get your ticket, you can potentially miss your train because most of these train, train stations, there are a lot of people coming in. So you have to plan ahead. So that change your money in the city center ahead, plan ahead. And also, if, for example, if your train is like in two hours time, I prefer you already in the train station one hour to more than like 45 minutes. Let me say one hour to 45 minutes, you are already in the train station. 
because you don't know everything is written in Bulgaria. So you have to ask people, you have to be, and most people also don't speak English. So you will find it difficult to get to your right platform and the right train you have to take. So you have to be very, very careful with these informations because if not, you will miss your train. So this is what I can also share. A part of that, I think I didn't miss any information. You just have to be careful with your belongings. Don't hesitate to tell the controllers many times, uh, let them know your direction. Because sometimes you are changing the train. To, oh, look at this beautiful mountain. If you are closer to any local, don't hesitate to keep on asking. Asking if they speak English, let them know what you want so that they can be able to help you. Maybe hopefully you can run into someone that speak English so it can be able to help you. So this is how I do because it's, it is not easy to travel around Bulgaria just because of the language, only the language barrier. And because uh, as I've said earlier on, everything, almost everything is written in the local language. So it's difficult. It would have been nice if they can be able to like make it English and the Bulgarian language. Beautiful country, beautiful people, awesome experience, great landscape, great mountains, great towns, full of history, great cities, great seaside. It was even my first time in the Black Sea. So this is exactly what I was saying. We came to this train station. This is another town called Ghana. From here, I have to change the train that will take me to Sofia. They are saying everything in, in Bulgarian language, which is normal. So, but there is nobody around me because I was sitting alone. And I was kind of lost. So from the window, I, I make it an habit to like every time look at the window whenever we arrive any stop, you know. And I look from the window and I saw that we are already in the stop called Ghana. And this is where I have to stop and change to go to Sofia. So please don't hesitate to ask them. It's even the gendarme because the controller he doesn't really, really care. It is when I came down, I was started asking people. So I saw a, a gendarme, uh, an officer, and uh, a lady, and I, I told her, hey, "Hey, madam, you speak little English?" And she said, "Yeah, come." So she is the one who took me here, and she said, "Stay here. The train of Sofia is going to come." So make it a habit. Make it a habit. Uh, always be vigilant. Ask people and come a little bit early. Uh, to any uh, train station so that or anywhere even in the bus if you want to take bus it's almost the same thing okay so this one will take me direct to Sofia. So right here in Sofia. Yeah. Nice meeting you. So I'm going now. Nice meeting you too. Okay, thank you. This is what you need to know about traveling around Bulgaria. A quick recap. Whenever you want to travel through by train or by bus, please come early because most of them they are not speaking English. So it is difficult for you 
to know where you are going, to know the right train, the right platform, or the right bus you need uh, to take. Because almost everything is written in Bulgarian. So sometimes it's very difficult to find someone who speaks English that can help you. This is what I observe. The transport system is very cheap. Uh, the train is, for me, my favorite because I feel comfortable and also it's less expensive, though it has its own disadvantage because it's not as fast as other transport system. This is only the disadvantage. So I'm a little bit tired. It has been non-stop for the past almost three weeks now. So I need to go to the hostel to have some rest and prepare to come out to exploit Sofia because I haven't really explored Sofia, just only my first impression. So right now I'm going to exploit Sofia with you guys. And to share with you how nightlife looks like right here in Sofia. And I'm going to also vlog around to share with you the best places to visit in the city. So stay tuned. And also 10 euro. What 10 euro can get us right here in the city of Sofia is on the way. So until then, see you on the next one. Ciao. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos as I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye-bye.